you wouldn't take this or die. Oh boy, I finally won the Elite Four. I can't wait until I go to new regions. What do you mean I can't get on? This is a steamboat. It can only go like two miles per hour. This is an ocean here. What do you expect? Ah. Hey, what if I told you that through the power of Nintendo Switch you could get there? Oh, I should try that out. Oh. Welcome, I'm the legendary Pokemaster, and today we are talking about a Pokemon game with all of the regions in it, because that would be cool. Now, a lot of people have been talking about this, but I've noticed that no discussion has gone to the Switch, which should be the focal point of everything on YouTube. So I'm gonna combine both here. I've never really investigated much into this topic, so maybe we'll find something, even though most people didn't. So without further ado, let's start. To organize this video, I'll be separating it into two sides of analysis. The points for why a Pokemon game with all the regions will happen, and the points for why it won't. You know, because I'm less likely to be blamed for bias or something, I don't know. So with that said, let's start off with the bad side, which is why it can't happen. There are quite a few factors that make something like this unrealistic. First off, as we can tell by the past, Game Freak is lazy, or not. I honestly don't know, but it would probably be a pain to re-render all of the previous regions in 3D. Yes, I do know that they already have the regions planned out and stuff, but like, come on. You've got seven regions and the Sevi Islands if you want to include those, and compare that amount of work with this, which took me six hours to do in Unity. It's a big deal. In addition to that, it would break the release timeline Pokemon has semi going. That is a new game, remake, and potentially an enhanced version of the title game of the generation. The reason I say it's semi is because generation 5 and 6 don't do that. But who honestly plays attention to those, you know? No one ever played those. Ha ha ha, we'll put them under the rug. Look, sun and moon, yep, there, there it is, sun and moon. While storage could be a problem on the Nintendo 3DS and its 4GB game cards, it wouldn't really be on a Switch card of 32 gigabytes. That's probably well over the amount most likely necessary for all the regions. However, as I elaborated upon more closely in last week's video, which you should totally check out, we're not sure if Pokemon is actually ready to make that jump yet. You would need to redesign the entire graphics system to be upscaled to a TV, which at minimum would be 720p compared to this 360p on the 3DS. On top of that, you need to reduce everything from two screens to one, which would just be a pain, basically. The final point against this game happening is the leveling system itself which is basically half of what the entire concept of Pokemon is about. Regions are designed to be able to be beaten with level 60-ish Pokemon, I'd say. So if you were to go through all of the rest of the six regions, you'd probably be able to do it so quickly that there would really be no point in including them all. If you're gonna go through it in, like, 10 minutes, five regions, like... Why put all the effort in? So there, I have successfully confirmed that there will not be a Pokemon game with all the regions. Why are you still here? Oh, it's because you see all this space on the scrub bar. Yeah, about that. Remember how I said... To organize this video, I'll be separating it into two sides of analysis. The points for why a Pokemon game with all the regions will happen, and the points for why it won't. So now it's time to counter everything that I just said. So let's start off with some of the same stuff. The process of remaking the game. I don't actually think Game Freak is lazy because they're basically making advances in their games all the time. Although sometimes it may be subtle. Going from Generation 1 to 2, they added color and a ton more features that still endure in Pokemon Sun and Moon. From Generation 2 to 3, they had a huge graphics and sound jump, including battle backdrops, a more complicated storyline, and general awesomeness. From Generation 3 to 4, they added partial 3D rendering of structures and wireless capabilities. Abilities. From Generation 4 to 5, more complete structural rendering, extremely abundant wireless features, and fully 3D rendered cutscenes. From Generation 5 to 6, do I even need to say this one? From Generation 6 to 7, do I even need to say this one? This generally quick advancement has always been there, so I'm sure they could do it again with resolution, upscaling, re-rendering of all the regions, and moving stuff to only one screen. That's no big deal. Over to the topic of quick leveling, maybe you could do something like Ash does, in that you can take your Pokémon with you between regions. Well, for Ash's Pikachu, that's an exception, but no one uses Pikachu anyway. However, since there are really no pros confirming details for these games beyond that, I'm going to go with that they're not happening anytime soon. Even in a Q&A session on Twitter, Junichi Masuda said that he would want to do it, 
but that it can't really happen because they like locations to be individualized. However, one question that I did want to address that I haven't really seen anyone saying anything about is that can these actually happen on the Nintendo Switch? If you think about it, the Switch has all of the capabilities to do this. It's basically a home console, so it has the power to run something like that. I know that you would have to move stuff to one screen like I said before, but still, Generation 4 didn't use the bottom screen much. In an interview with Polygon, Ishihara stated that it has a bigger screen and higher specs than they're used to, and that Pokemon should make games to suit these. What better way to show the Nintendo Switch's capabilities and follow up on Breath of the Wild or something than making a gigantic world in Pokemon or something? I got comments on last week's video saying that they want a big world. This is the opportunity. You saw that, Link. Although I personally believe that these games probably won't happen for a long time, the Switch poses the greatest chance of making them happen. So what do you think? Will there be a Pokemon game with all the regions, and if so, when? Please leave a comment down below. You can also subscribe to see videos like this twice a week. Regardless, I've beaten two Guardians in Breath of the Wild so far, and I will see you in the next video.